Hey guys, it's Chris, uh, the real C-Mac as I'm known on uh, ECF, YouTube, Vapetron, ECA, pretty much anywhere you can look except for Facebook. Um, we're going to do a hardware review today. Uh, Inokin sent me an eye taste to review, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at the Inokin eye taste. Um, so before we do anything else, let's go down take a look at what comes in the package okay folks so here we have the uh, eye taste packaging uh, got a picture of an eye taste on there uh, on the back we have um, pictures of the different models we got a black we have a chameleon and a white and then over to the side here we have uh, just some of the uh, um, technology involved in the device. Uh, we have the adma advanced magnetic technology. Sounds pretty awesome. Uh, I'm actually a big fan of the magnetic connectors. We'll take a look at them in a bit. Um, so, you know, the other notable things here, we have uh, overcharge protection. Uh, we have a 10 second cutoff, short circuit, and atomizer protection. Uh, it works as a pass-through, which is cool. And uh, it's got that uh, puff counter and the recommended uh, operating voltage range, which is uh, pretty handy. So let's, uh, this is actually just a slip cover. Take that off. And there's our box. Let's open her up. There we go. Nice open box. All right, so uh, what you see here, we got the unit itself. Um, we're going to take a look at that in a moment. So let's take that out. Uh, Spoiler alert though, it is the chameleon version. All right, we're gonna put that to the side for now. Uh, we got a manual, a fairly well written manual, uh, fairly well I say. Uh, there is some uh, uh, translation errors and uh, that does make some of it confusing, um, but you can pretty much get by uh, with this manual. Lots of nice pictures in there. Okay, next thing we have is uh, a USB adapter. Bring that up, take a look, USB adapter. So I have the USB out of the package. Uh, this is what you get. Um, nice eye taste branded adapter there. Um, now this thing pulls, uh, it's wound in the middle. You just give her a pull. I'd say it goes out about three and a half feet. Uh, not great with measurements but uh, that's pretty close. Uh, the charging uh, end here um, kind of reminds me of one of my old cell phone chargers, uh, but that is what goes into the eye taste. And then this, of course, goes into your computer. Um, and you can use the power block that comes with it as well. Okay, a nice Inokin branded power block. It is a bit long. Um, you know this is going to stick out from your wall about two inches uh, so you know you want to be careful that you're not going to whack on this thing and snap it right off uh, also be careful that your cat isn't going to eat it uh, speaking of cats this cable is really really thin uh, it is the almost as thin as a ribbon uh, so you're going to want to be careful you know I got a new kitty right now and uh, uh, she would absolutely love to eat this for dinner, and it wouldn't take much to get through this, so you want to be careful of that. Uh, also, you're going to want to watch that uh, it doesn't get tangled up, because I have a feeling you get some knots in here. It's going to be a problem, which is why it is good that uh, it retracts back to uh, what it looked like in the first place. So when you're done with it, just give her a, a little pull. You hear that click, and boom, you're done. I like that. I like the fact that I can just put this away uh, on a shelf or uh, in my uh, tackle box of gear and it's not another cable because I already have about 20 cables creating a nice little rat's nest uh, next to my uh, my couch so that's the USB adapter that comes with it charging block comes with it Oop, put that the right way alright uh, then you got five uh, tanks 
And these are the tanks, empty blank tanks that will go with your uh, uh, your iTaste. Uh, iTaste comes with a uh, tank atomizer system. So five individually wrapped tanks. And when you unwrap them, they look something like that. Okay, kind of an H pattern or a uh, green lantern ring pattern, if you will. Um, it's got two slots down the side. Uh, easy to uh, uh, just pry that cap off and uh, drop your drip your liquid in there. I'd say it holds about a mil. Uh, maybe, yeah, you probably won't get much more than a mil in there. Um, quick demonstrate, because I got juice in my other one, so I'm not going to be able to pull it off for you, but uh, I'm get some focus there. Okay, silicone cap. There's your mouthpiece end. You fill it up. Just drop some, uh, drop some drips in there, and then uh, that part is going to be punctured by the um, atomizer head. So you get five of those. I actually got five of those, and I got uh, uh, one on my unit. I'm not sure if they all come like that. Uh, so the next thing we have in here, and it's hidden stealthily, there's actually a little card right here that tells you it's there, although I have it pointing the wrong way, of course. Um, underneath here, we have three extra atomizer heads. Okay, and there's one on the unit when you get it. Uh, so, these are the atomizer heads. You can see there, this is a 2.6 ohm. I'll turn it that way. 2.6 ohm, and it shows you the uh, our recommended operating range, 3.3 volts to 4.0. The other one is a, a 3.2 ohm head. There's two of each, um, and that one, let's see what it recommends. Get that up here. Let's see if we can see it. It's written on there real light. Yeah, that's a 3.2, and that is recommended from 3.5 to 4.5. So that's what the, the unit... Uh, should show you uh, when you check to see uh, what your uh, recommended range is. All right, so that uh, that's what comes in the box. Now, um, some stores sell the eye taste with a connection uh, adapters. Uh, some do not, so you have to buy them separately. Uh, Inokin sent me. Um, a 510 adapter and an 808 adapter. Uh, now, just want to make a quick note of this. When they sent me the 510 adapter, I it looked like this. Let's see if we can get a close up. Nope. All right. So as you can see here, that pin right there is flush with the top. Now I saw that. Uh, I assumed that this was not a 510 connector because I had I had read around about the eye taste and uh, apparently there were some mislabeled uh, uh, adapters going out. And these are X4s. They should be a 510. Um, so I uh, I was quite disappointed. All I had was the 808, and uh, I actually reached out to uh, a vendor. And I want to thank uh, Cat at uh, Electro Vapors for expressing, uh, express shipping me a 510 adapter. I uh, really appreciate that because um, I really wanted to try out the 510 with all my stuff because all my stuff is 510. Uh, now, I want to point out, okay, these are both X4s. This is the one Cat sent me. Uh, this is the one Inokin sent me. And I realized something. I realized it just as I was going to shoot this review. I looked on the bottom, and okay, the pin's sticking out here. There's no pin sticking out here. So, I mean, to some people, I guess they might have figured this out, but I just figured it out. The one that Inokin sent me, the pin is just pushed all the way up, which is why I couldn't fit anything in there. I figured it was just an RN4081. I figured it was just mislabeled. Uh, so, yeah. If I get a pen, 
Or I can even use my finger. No, nope. let's get a pin here. Or a screwdriver. All right, where are we here? So yeah, that's all the way up. And I will push on it, and magically that pin comes out the bottom. I now have a 510 connector. So I, I, you know, I didn't even know these things moved, but apparently they do. And uh, you know, if you do get one and it's pushed all the way up, you think it might be the wrong connector. It might just be the fact that uh, that pin has been pushed all the way up and is sitting flush with that, but it is a 510 connector, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, make a note of that. So anyways, you do get these, uh, you can buy these adapters, like I said, uh, some vendors do sell them uh, separately, and uh, we'll get into that later, I'll have a list of uh, uh, what vendors sell what here in Canada. <clears throat> Alright, enough about that. Let's move on to the actual unit. So here we have the eye taste. And you can see it's looking really green under this light. Um, this is the chameleon unit. Uh, it is oh, the chameleon, the whole part of that is there's some green fleck in here and there's some purple fleck. And it's all on a black base. So it depends what kind of lighting you're in. Uh, this will turn color from you know sparkly gold or green to sparkly purple uh, it's pretty cool I gotta say very nice looking all I can get is green under this light I find a, a natural sunlight really brings out the purple in it so we got the nice uh, eye taste logo uh, we have the power button here uh, this is the pen cap lid which is pretty neat and then you have your uh, uh, your readout screen right here and your plus and minus buttons. All right, so let's first uh, take a look at the power button. Um, let's bring it up a bit. All right, so when you want to vape, push the button. Uh, let's turn that. You get a green light. Okay, um, when you want to turn this off, you press it three times, and you'll get three green flashes. And when you want to turn that back on three more times, you get a cool uh, red, yellow, green. Reminds me of an Xbox. I uh, also want to mention uh, when the IT starts to, uh, uh, the battery starts to die, this will change to yellow. And it'll stay yellow for a little bit, and then it's going to go to red. And then once uh, you vape it for a while on red, uh, it's going to go to shut itself off. Uh, I find once you hit yellow, the vape really starts falling off. Uh, so if I'm close to my computer or a, a wall charger, I will charge it at that point. Uh, so that's the power button. Pretty simple. I do want to note on mine, the power button is very f loose. Uh, it's floaty. You can kind of hear it just moving around there. I actually did have it uh, stick in the corner a couple times uh, while I was trying to uh, uh, fire it. It didn't stay on fired, but uh, I did have to uh, just kind of knock the bottom to get it back sitting flat. All right, so that's the power button. Now let's move on to one of the more unique things here, and that would be the mirrored display. Um, apologize for the light there. Um, so it is a nice mirrored finish. You can't really tell there's anything under it. It just looks uh, like a mirror. Uh, but when you do press the button here, okay, that's your puff counter. That is your uh, current voltage. Now you see my puff counter is at zero, and that's another thing I want to note. Um, if you really want to keep track of your puffs, um, don't turn it off because turning it off resets your puff counter. That uh, seems to be the only way to reset the puff counter. Um, too bad it's not you know, another button combination here, maybe a long press on the plus or something like that to reset it. So if, you, uh, if you're planning on uh, keeping track of your puff count and you want to turn this thing off and put it in your pocket, uh, you better write it down because uh, yeah, your puff count's gonna disappear. So 
Puff count, uh, whenever you press the button to fire it, that's when you get a puff. So if you're just for some reason pressing the button nonchalantly and not to, not vaping on it, yeah, it's going to still count. All right, so your puff counter and your operating voltage range. So we got 4.2. Uh, this goes from 5 down to 3.3. Uh, so it's not the most versatile uh, variable voltage, but uh, quite honestly, 5 volts is sufficient for, you know, most things. I really don't go above 5 volts for much. Uh, so 3.3 to 5 volts is is fine with me. Uh, not a problem. Okay, and now I'm going to actually put a head on here. Alright, so we're going to uh, show you the recommended vaping voltage range. Uh, so you press the plus and the minus at the same time. That's going to show you 3.5 to 4.5, just like it showed on the uh, the atomizer I showed you and I do have the 3.2 ohm atomizer in there right now 3.5 to 4.5 now I have had this thing misread a couple times uh, it will uh, every once in a while show me 3.5 to 4.8 um, not sure why that is why it's not getting a correct reading uh, really not a big deal to me though uh, as it rarely rarely happened and uh, you know I kinda know what ranges I, I should be vaping at anyways but uh, something I thought I would note alright so that's the unit itself uh, we got the charging plug on the bottom along with some certification uh, that's where your uh, plug goes there uh, it does function as a pass-through uh, so you can uh, vape while you charge and then once you're done charging just unplug it and you're good to go there's the top of it, nothing fancy there. All right, so let's take this off. And we'll put that down here. Okay, so what we have here is the uh, tank system that comes with it. Um, now, the advanced magnetic technology is coming into effect here. Pop, just pops right off. Uh, that is a magnetic connection. Actually, really cool. I really dig it. Uh, I think we're going to be seeing more of it. I would almost guarantee it. Uh, it's pretty cool for swapping out, especially when you got an adapter. And say I'm 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 vaping on this, and I want to put, uh, you know, I have a, a tank or something on here. Tank kind of looks silly on here, but you know, you just you just pop it in, and you're good to go. And it's in there pretty solid too. Um, but anyways, let's take a look at this tank system. Uh, so we have the cartridge up here, which I showed you. We had the box of them. Uh, I'll pull that out. This one is filled with liquid. Uh, get in there. You got your atomizer uh, head screwed in there. It's got a big spike. Let's uh, let's take that out. Now I haven't found too much difference. Uh, this can go in one of two ways. Um, I really haven't found a lot of difference. Uh, which way it's in there. Uh, actually, is it more than one of two ways? Uh, yeah, yeah, it can go in there four ways. Uh, it personally, I haven't noticed a lot of difference uh, which way it goes in. So uh, let's go down and uh, take a look at this uh, atomizer head. I'll take the tank out. Best results, take the tank out before you try to unscrew this. <laughs> All right, so quite easy this is one of the atomizer heads the one that uh, came in the unit actually the 2.6 uh, 2 uh, came in the unit but uh, I'm using the 3.2 uh, so that's just the housing there okay and that is your atomizer head as I showed you in the packaging uh, quite a big spike There we go. Uh, quite a big spike. You can see your uh, your wicking material in there. Uh, it's kind of got a weird squarish, squared off uh, hole here, um, but seems to be working quite well.
And we'll get to that in a bit as well. So let's screw that back on. Put the tank in. Snap it onto the unit. And let's get some focus on there. There we go. Uh, snap it on the unit. And uh, you're ready to vape. So let's go back out. Uh, that's what you get in the box. And uh, we'll take a look at uh, how it works. Okay, so there's a rather lengthy look at what comes in the box. Um, so the big question is, how does it vape? How does it perform? Um, so I got my eye taste right here. Let's pop that cap off. Now I have a 50-50 juice in here. I've tried 70-30 juices. I've tried 50-50. Um, I have the 3.2 ohm head. And uh, let's talk about the 2.6 ohm head first. Uh, it worked okay. Uh, I was actually getting pretty good wicking. I was actually surprised. The flavor is there. Uh, the throat hit is slightly muted, but it's if I take a long enough drag, uh, I can get a decent throat hit out of it. Um, vapor production on it is okay. It's not you know a cardo tank or anything like that, but it's it's not bad. Uh, as far as the 2.6 ohm head went. Um, <clears throat> if I had a back-to-back -back, uh, hit off of it, it would start to get a little burny. Uh, I kept it. I wouldn't go any higher than 3.7, 3.8 with it. Um, you know, the flavor was still good. Uh, throw hit, you know, like I said, I had to take a longer drag. And uh, with the 2.6 ohm head, that uh, I did get a little burny on it. Um, but the 3.2 ohm head with the tank system worked great. I was really surprised actually. Um, the last tank system I used was a T, uh, an Ego T. I actually played around with the C for a bit but it didn't work out for me. Uh, and I was used to lots of dry hits from that. Uh, you know, real muted flavor, real muted throat hit. Um, but with this, the flavor is really good. Uh, I barely notice a lack of flavor. Um, the throat hit is decent. Like I said, I gotta take a longer drag. Uh, but with the 3.2 ohm head, I can drag this. I can take a huge drag off of this thing and I won't get any dryness, uh, any scratchiness. Um, it performs really well. And uh, yeah, I'm really surprised by that. Um, <clears throat> one downfall to this uh, the tank system is I did get quite a bit of condensation on the uh, mouthpiece and not just in the mouthpiece on the mouthpiece I think a good long drag there you know um, no loss of flavor Tastes great. I got a 50-50 uh, key lime in here right now. Okay. Now, see, I just kind of put my tongue on the tip, and there's definitely, you know, some juice on there. Uh, the more you puff on it, the more that builds up. So I was finding that I had to constantly wipe the tip off. So... You know, that's really the only downfall. Uh, it wicks great, especially the 3.2 ohm head. And I have this at, uh, let's see here, 4.4 volts. Uh, you know, I can put this all the way up to 5, 5 volts. Still good, still good. Um, the vapor is fairly warm, especially at that higher voltage. Uh, let's knock it down a bit. Put it down to 4.5, which is where I usually like it. I got good throat hit on that one. Uh, this is 12 milligram juice. Um, I do have, you know, just from, just from taking that vape, 
and that's not going to zoom in. Anyways, there's condensation on the tip, um, but the flavor's there. I really like it. So thumbs up on their uh, tank system. Um, you know, it's a it's a big improvement over uh, some older tank systems that I've used. Uh, I haven't, you know, the last one I used was an Ego T and a Ego C for a bit. The Ego C just died on me right away. So I haven't had this clog up at all. Uh, you know, I've gone through two battery cycles with this atomizer with this tank, and uh, it's working great. So that's the tank. Um, I just want to quickly show and wrap this up as quick as I can uh, the magnetic adapters in action. So we're just going to take this guy here, pop that out. Awesome, love it. Now I have one of the adapters, 510 adapters here, and I got my tank on it. I love tanks, I love cargo tanks. Uh, so let's just pop that right on. Easy. You know, it's in there good, it's not going anywhere. You know, Probably with a top heavy tank like this, if I whipped it, my tank would probably go flying. Uh, and I do have a bit of an issue. I mean, putting a tank like this on here is a bit of an exaggeration, but it, it's like it's what I like to vape. Um, I found even even with this to some extent, when I was walking around with it, that's when I really noticed the little wobble in the connector. Um, because I'm walking around with it in my mouth and my, my hand's moving. And it moves a bit. Not a huge complaint. I mean, it still vapes while you're doing that. Uh, but uh, it's just something to something to uh, notice. So I got my nice tank on here. I think I got a, well, let's see what the voltage range says. I think it's a 2 ohm cart in here. So it's telling me 3.5 to 5 volts. So this is probably actually... Uh, a 2.6 ohm cart or something a little higher. Let's double check that because sometimes I get that false reading. Okay, 3.5 to 5. Vape's great, you know, it's 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 a good, solid, good looking battery. Uh, I love the magnetic adapters. Very cool. Um, you know, the, uh, the recommended, uh, voltage range is pretty cool. Huh, that's funny. Now it's reading. Oh, did you see that? Well, they, okay, now, see, now it's telling me completely different readings. Interesting. It's kind of all over the place with this one. 3.5, 4.8, to 5. Let's disconnect that again and put it back in there. 3.5 to 5. Okay. I don't know. Sometimes you get false readings off it. But, you know, I also like the fact that you can lay it down. Uh, you know, I have a, a soft coffee table, like more of a, well, it's kind of like a footstool that opens up. We use it as a coffee table. My mods always roll off of that thing. I like the fact that you can just put this down and it's not going to go anywhere. So, let me have one more vape here before we go. Good stuff. Uh, Inokin also sent me some of the Tidy Clear Misers, the version 2. I'll probably do a review on those in a different video, uh, just because this is running long. And, uh, we'll get around to that eventually. Um, I do want to just give a list of Canadian vendors that carry the eye taste. Um, uh, in no certain order, just the order I wrote them down. Uh, CanVape. Uh, canvape.com currently has, uh, at the time of shooting this video, they just carry the black eye taste. They do include a 510 magnetic adapter uh, for $68.95. Um, Electrovapors.com, uh, where uh, uh, I got the adapter sent to me from. Thank you, Kat. 
uh, sh uh, she carries uh, black, white, the chameleon, all the adapters, uh, refill tanks. Um, the adapters are 695. The refill tanks are uh, 795 for a five pack. Uh, the unit itself with no adapter is 79.95 from them. Uh, and then uh, E Juice Wizard just started carrying it. Uh, he's offering it for 89.95. He has the white and the black. Uh, it includes an adapter and a 10 mil bottle of juice for that price. And uh, he also carries the tidy Clearos, uh, which I have yet to review for 11.95 for a uh, five pack. Um, if I left anything out uh, from any of those vendors, uh, just let me know, and uh, I'll keep an eye on it, and I'll just make some annotations uh, in my video uh, for the future. So. That is my take on the eye taste. A pretty sexy bat, uh, battery, sorry. And uh, you know, I'm happy to own one. Um, so thanks for tuning in again. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll be back with more reviews. Thanks. Hey guys, it's Chris. Thanks for tuning in. Going anywhere? I mean, I can, you know, I mean, maybe if I took my best fastball pitch. Ow! 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 That was a waste of time.